Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Ish. Welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new to my channel, Just Money, I pretty much go over financial topics such as credit, money, real estate, loans, etc. So if that's something you're into, you're going to want to definitely subscribe. But in this video today, we're going to be talking about the Navy Federal Business Credit Card. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I recently started banking with Navy Federal Credit Union and I recently got approved for a $15,000 credit card on my personal credit. Now I want to apply for a business credit card and I want to let you guys know everything I've learned thus far in regards to how to apply for a business credit card. So here we go. First, you will need to have a personal checking and savings account with them. Then you can apply to open a business checking account. And this process is different from when you open a personal checking account. For the checking and savings account, you just walk right into the bank, but for business, it's a whole different department. I would recommend to do it over the phone and be prepared for the process to take about an hour. And I am making this video during a pandemic, so things may change depending on the time you are watching this video. Okay, so the documents you will need varies on the business type you have. For instance, if you have an LLC, then you'll need your TIN federal tax ID number letter, your certificate of good standing, and your beneficial owner form. Now, if you're not a sole proprietorship or a legal entity and are are operating as an independent contractor, such as auto mechanic, barber, chiropractor, massage therapist, or a real estate agent, then you will need to show your professional license. So once you have a business account, you can apply for business credit cards. And from the information they told me, if you're applying for a limit of under 25,000, then you won't need tax returns. And also business age won't matter and they don't require cash flow from the business. They do, however, reserve the right to request documentation as needed. But the main focus is on your personal credit. That's why like, I highly recommend that you guys build a bank relationship with the bank first. But anyways, here are some bullet points to remember. Your personal credit is what they look at. They currently don't offer automatic credit line increases. You have to wait at least 91 days to request a credit increase. And a credit limit increase will be considered a hard pull and that is on your personal credit for sure. And their business cards are all personal guaranteed by you, the business owner. And also they do not pull from your business credit report. So you will inquire one hard pull for each business credit card that you apply for. And they do pull from your personal experience credit report. Your business bank account balance may be reviewed, but the personal guaranteed will play the largest factor on whether you get approved or not. And once you get approved for the business credit card, Navy Federal does not report the history to your business credit. And they also will not report it to your personal credit. They do, however, keep an internal record though. Also, if you default or you go into collection status, they will report that to the credit bureaus. So stay current on all your payments, guys. And there's a lot more information, but in order to keep this video short, I will end the video here. And I'll go more into details as my experience continues to grow with these guys. I really hope this information was useful. If you guys would like to learn more about how to build credit or how have I been able to build a credit limit of over 60,000, I have more videos on my channel about this topic. You guys can feel free to browse around. I'll put some videos in the description for those interested. And I want to thank everybody that's been subscribed to my channel at the time of this recording we are at 329 subs so we're really growing quick quicker than i thought actually and i just appreciate all you guys for watching i'm also really really close to obtaining my real estate license so for those looking to buy or sell a home i'm your guy i'll leave all my information down below in the description so depending on the time you're watching this video i will be a licensed agent out here in the state of california so hit me up I also got a podcast to which you'll receive great life advice. I'll link that down in the description below. I hope you guys found this information helpful. And as always, please use your credit responsibly. I really just make these videos to empower you guys, to provide as much knowledge as I can to you guys. So that way you guys can use this to benefit your lives. So do the right thing with your credit. If you take care of your credit, your credit will take care of you 10 times more. But I think that's about it, guys. I'll see you guys next week. I do post every week. So I'll see you guys next week. And thank you for everybody that subscribed again. I'll see you guys next week.